So for the last, almost the last month, we've been preparing for this uh, primary shift of bringing the northbound lanes over here to the new southbound general purpose bridge that we've built. Uh, this will facilitate us replacing the northbound general purpose yeah. bridge that's currently structurally deficient and an over height concern for trucks. Um, in preparation for this, we've had to do significant earthwork, we've had to build up our asphalt, and we're finally approaching the finish line, with this weekend being the capstone for that. Right now behind me, you can see that we have asphalt crews out here. We also have striping crews that are finalizing the alignment, every bit of it that we can, before we have to get into I-95 to start connecting this over. Boy, the connecting, this as you put the puzzle together, it's pretty fascinating. It is, and it's it's required a significant amount of manpower and buildup. There are about three to four companies all out here working with a crew of probably over 100 people right now, trying to get this online before this weekend. So, this is this eventually is going to be the southbound bridge that we're looking at right here. That is correct. So, what we are currently standing by is going to be the southbound general purpose or through bridge uh, for the overall southbound Rappahannock River Crossing project. This bridge will take through traffic north of 17 all the way south of Route 3 when this project is complete. The, uh, the, after this weekend, the, 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 the bridge that we've been going over all these years, over 17, that's, that's no more? So the bridge over north, the bridge from northbound 95 over 17, demo will probably commence on it within a week after this shift this weekend. So you will quickly see workers go straight to taking down that bridge and replacing it. Once we finish with this, the next major shift that will happen out here, which should be a little less than what we're doing right now, the next shift will be to put northbound back on its original alignment and then to shift southbound onto this new alignment so we can replace the structurally deficient southbound yeah. bridge. But when this is all done, it's going to be a whole different world for those of us coming through here. Yeah, so the southbound project overall will add three more lanes of capacity, and in particular, through travelers will really feel the difference because the through travelers are not going to get caught up in the exit traffic for Route 3 and Route 17 at this point, so we'll be able to better expedite travel through the eastern seaboard through this area of I-95. Wait, it's over at 17. That's that's where that always correct is. That's always slow. In addition, the other thing is this also should make some improvements to southbound travelers at Route 17 that get caught up in the back up here locally in Fredericksburg in that the exit ramp from 17 to southbound will actually be expanded. The two lanes in the acceleration lanes will be extended down. So this should help relieve some of the traffic congestion on Route 17 when this project is complete.